Good morning, Half-Heart family, and welcome to Sunday Morning Prayers. Today we honor St. Giles, born to a wealthy noble family. When his parents died, Giles gave his fortune to help the poor, known as a miracle worker. To avoid followers and adulation, he left Greece in about 683 for France, where he lived as a hermit in a cave in the Diocese of Nîmes, a cave whose mouth was guarded by a thick thorn bush and a lifestyle so impoverished that legend says God sent a deer to Giles to nourish him with her milk. One day, after he lived there for several years in meditation, a royal hunting party chased the hind into Giles's cave. One hunter shot an arrow into the thorn bush, hoping to hit the deer but instead hit Giles in the leg, crippling him. The king sent doctors to care for the hermit's wounds, and although Giles begged to be left alone, the king came often to see him. From this, Giles' fame as sage and miracle worker spread, and would-be followers gathered near the cave. The French king, because of his admiration, built the monastery of St. Giles du Gar for these followers and Giles became its first abbot, establishing his own discipline there. A small town grew up around the monastery, and upon Giles' death, his grave became a shrine and place of pilgrimage. The monastery later became a Benedictine house. The combination of the town, monastery, shrine, and pilgrims led to many handicapped beggars hoping for alms. This, and Giles' insistence that he wished to live outside the walls of the city and his own damaged leg, led to his patronage of beggars and to cripples since begging was the only source of income for many. Hospitals and safe houses for the poor, crippled, and leprous were constructed in England and Scotland and were built so cripples could reach them easily. On their passage to Tyburn for execution, Convicts were allowed to stop at St. Giles' Hospital, where they were presented with a bowl of ale, called St. Giles' Bowl, to drink at their pleasure, as their last refreshment in this life. In Spain, shepherds considered Giles the protector of rams. It was formerly the custom to wash their rams and color their wool a bright shade on Giles' feast day, tie lighted candles to their horns, and bring the animals down the mountain paths to the chapels and churches to have them blessed. Among the Basques, the shepherds came down from the Pyrenees on the 1st of September, attired in full costume, sheepskin coats, staves, and crooks, to attend Mass with their best rams, an event that marked the beginning of autumn festivals, marked by processions and dancing in the fields. One of the fourteen holy helpers, the only one not to die as a martyr. St. Giles, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be the holy and undivided Trinity, now and forevermore. Amen. An Act of Adoration O great God, the Sovereign Lord of heaven and earth, I prostrate myself before Thee. With all the angels and saints, I adore Thee. I acknowledge Thee to be my Creator and Sovereign Lord, my first beginning and last end. I render to Thee the homage of my being and life, I submit myself to thy holy will, and I devote myself to thy divine service this day and forever. Stabat Mater Dolorosa, the sorrowful mother was standing. At the cross, her station keeping, stood the mournful mother weeping, close to Jesus to the last. Through her heart, his sorrow sharing, all his bitter anguish bearing. Now at length the sword has passed. Oh, how sad and sore distressed 
was that mother highly blessed of the soul begotten one. Christ above in torment hangs. She beneath beholds the pangs of her dying glorious son. Is there one who would not weep, whelmed in miseries so deep, Christ's dear mother to behold? Can the human heart refrain from partaking in her pain, in that mother's pain untold? Bruised, derided, cursed, defiled, she beheld her tender child, all with bloody scourges rent. For the sins of his own nation saw him hang in desolation, till his spirit forth he sent. O thou mother, fount of love, touch my spirit from above, make my heart with thine accord. Make me feel as thou hast felt, make my soul to glow and melt with the love of Christ, my Lord. Holy Mother, pierce me through, in my heart each wound renew of my Savior crucified. Let me share with thee his pain, who for all our sins was slain, who for me in torments died. Let me mingle tears with thee, mourning him who mourned for me all the days that I may live. By the cross with thee to stay, there with thee to weep and pray, is all I ask of thee to give. Virgin of all virgins blessed, listen to my fond request. Let me share in thy grief divine. Let me to my latest breath, in my body bear the death of that dying son of thine. Wounded with his every wound, steep my soul till it hath swooned in his very blood away. Be to me, O virgin nigh, lest in flames I burn and die in this awful judgment day. Christ, when thou hast called me hence, be thy mother my defense, be thy cross my victory. While my body here decays, may my soul thy goodness praise, safe in paradise with thee. Amen. The Lord's Prayer Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The Angelus The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. 
let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech Thee, O Lord, Thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, Thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by His passion and cross be brought to the glory of His resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The Apostles' Creed I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Act of Faith O my God, I firmly believe that Thou art one God in three divine persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I believe that Thy divine Son became man and died for our sins, and that He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe these and all the truths which the Holy Catholic Church teaches, because Thou hast revealed them, who canst neither deceive nor be deceived. Act of Hope O my God, relying on Thy infinite goodness and promises, I hope to obtain pardon of my sins, the help of Thy grace, and life everlasting through the merits of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Redeemer. Act of Charity O my God, I love Thee above all things, with my whole heart and soul, because Thou art all good and worthy of all love. I love my neighbor as myself for the love of Thee. I forgive all who have injured me, and ask pardon of all whom I have injured. Prayer for Holy Church O Mary, Mother of the Universal Church, who did consent to remain in exile upon earth after the ascension of thy divine Son, and for long years to be deprived of his visible presence, that thou mightest be the guide, the mistress, and the loving mother of the infant church. Do thou now, as ever, extend upon her thy maternal care. Thou seest the persecutions to which she is exposed, the dangers to her children, the tribulations of her pastor. Remember the last words of thy dying son, by which he gave thee to us to be our mother, and deign to protect us, the children of thy sorrow, that none of us may be lost, but that all may remain steadfast in the true faith and the practice of virtue. Let thy maternal compassion extend also to those unfortunate children of thine, to those pitiable souls who have denied the one true church and have fallen into schism and heresy that they may soon return to the true Catholic Church and lovingly submit to her authority and to the shepherd appointed by Christ. Have pity also on those children of thine who know not thy Son, the light and life of the world. May thy supplications and tears move the depths of divine mercy, that he may enlighten them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death. 
O oh, may all true Catholics, through thy powerful intercession, remain faithful to their God and their mother, the Church. May all the stray sheep be brought back to the fold. May all heathens walk in the light of the new Jerusalem, that all men may know and love and serve and bless thy divine Son forever and ever. Amen. Now we make a firm resolution to avoid evil and to do good. Adorable Jesus, divine pattern of that perfection to which we should all aspire, I will endeavor this day to follow thine example, to be mild, humble, chaste, zealous, patient, charitable, and resigned. Incline my heart to keep thy commandments. I am resolved to watch over myself with the greatest diligence, and to live soberly, justly, and piously for the time to come. I will take care of my words that I may not offend with my tongue. I will turn away my eyes that they may not see vanity, and I will be particularly attentive not to relapse this day into my accustomed failings, but to struggle against them with thy gracious assistance. Enlighten my mind, purify my heart, and guide my steps, that I may pass all my life in thy divine service. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Litany of the Most Holy Name of Jesus Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Jesus, hear us. Jesus, graciously hear us. God the Father of Heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Ghost, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Jesus, Son of the Living God, have mercy on us. Jesus, Splendor of the Father, have mercy on us. Jesus, Brightness of Eternal Light, have mercy on us. Jesus, King of Glory, have mercy on us. Jesus, Son of Justice, have mercy on us. Jesus, Son of the Virgin Mary, have mercy on us. Jesus, Most Lovable, have mercy on us. Jesus, Most Admirable, have mercy on us. Jesus, Mighty God, have mercy on us. Jesus, Father of the world to come, have mercy on us. Jesus, Angel of Great Counsel, have mercy on us. Jesus, Most Powerful, have mercy on us. Jesus, Most Patient, have mercy on us. Jesus, Most Obedient, have mercy on us. Jesus, 
meek and humble of heart. Have mercy on us. Jesus, lover of chastity, have mercy on us. Jesus, lover of us, have mercy on us. Jesus, God of peace, have mercy on us. Jesus, author of life, have mercy on us. Jesus, example of virtues, have mercy on us. Jesus, zealous lover of souls, have mercy on us. Jesus, our God, have mercy on us. Jesus, our refuge, have mercy on us. Jesus, Father of the poor, have mercy on us. Jesus, treasure of the faithful, have mercy on us. Jesus, good shepherd, have mercy on us. Jesus, true light, have mercy on us. Jesus, eternal wisdom, have mercy on us. Jesus, infinite goodness, have mercy on us. Jesus, our way and our life, have mercy on us. Jesus, joy of angels, have mercy on us. Jesus, king of patriarchs, have mercy on us. Jesus, master of apostles, have mercy on us. Jesus, teacher of evangelists, have mercy on us. Jesus, strength of martyrs, have mercy on us. Jesus, light of confessors, have mercy on us. Jesus, purity of virgins, have mercy on us. Jesus, crown of all saints, have mercy on us. Be merciful unto us, spare us, O Jesus. Be merciful unto us, graciously hear us, O Jesus. From all evils, Jesus, deliver us. From all sin, Jesus, deliver us. From thy wrath, Jesus, deliver us. From the snares of the devil, Jesus, deliver us. From the spirit of uncleanness, Jesus, deliver us. From everlasting death, Jesus, deliver us. From the neglect of thine inspirations, Jesus, deliver us. Through the mystery of thy holy incarnation, Jesus, deliver us. Through thy nativity, Jesus, deliver us. Through thine infancy, Jesus, deliver us. Through thy most divine life, Jesus, deliver us. Through thy labors, Jesus, deliver us. Through thine agony and passion, Jesus, deliver us. Through thy cross and dereliction, Jesus, deliver us. Through thy faintness and weariness, Jesus, deliver us. Through thy death and burial, Jesus, deliver us. Through thy resurrection, Jesus, deliver us. Through thine ascension, Jesus, deliver us. Through thine institution of the most holy Eucharist, Jesus, deliver us. Through thy joys, Jesus, deliver us. Through thy glory, Jesus, deliver us. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, spare us, O Jesus. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Jesus. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, O Jesus. Jesus, hear us. Jesus, graciously, hear us. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, who hast said, Ask, and ye shall receive. Seek, 
and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Grant, we beseech thee, to us who ask, the gift of thy most divine love, that with all our heart, words, and works, we may love thee and never cease to praise thee. Make us, O Lord, to have a perpetual fear and love of thy holy name, for thou never failest to govern those whom thou dost solidly establish in thy love, who livest and reignest. Amen. Daily Novena Prayer to Saint Joseph O Saint Joseph, whose protection is so great, so strong, so prompt before the throne of God, I place in you all my interests and desires. O Saint Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession, and obtain for me from your Divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord so that having experienced here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, I never weary of contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Hold him close in my name and kiss his fine head from me and ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. Prayer to Our Guardian Angel Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom his love entrusts me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Prayer of the Half-Heart Family Dear Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we come together as the Half-Heart Family to extend our deepest gratitude for the many blessings showered upon us, though we recognize our unworthiness. In humility, we ask for forgiveness for all of our sins. We pray for our salvation and endlessly seek your mercy. We remember the holy souls in purgatory, seeking their comfort and release. We lift up all sinners, especially those in their final hours, along with those members of our families and those dear to us. May your grace guide them to you. We hold in our hearts the sick, the hospitalized, and those confined to their homes. May they find healing in your embrace and return to health and wellness. Our thoughts turn to Pope Francis, praying for his strength of mind, body, and spirit. May he lead the Holy Catholic Church, fulfilling the mission you have entrusted to him. We pray for the leaders of nations around the world. Grant them the wisdom to govern according to your will, bringing the world much needed peace and righteousness. Finally, we yearn for the unity among all Catholics from Pope Francis to your clergy, from all the devoted religious to every parishioner, may we come together under one holy Catholic and apostolic church, under one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and under the one true God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Yam Lucis Orto Sideri. Now that the star of light has risen, let us to God most humbly pray to save us from all hurtful things in all our actions of the day. 
to bridle and restrain our tongue. That wordy war may not resound. To cover and protect our sight from dangerous follies all around. To drive iniquity away and purify our inmost soul. And by spare use of meat and drink, our rebel passions to control. That when the day has sped away, and he again the night shall bring, we may through holy abstinence, with purity, his glory sing. All glory to the Father be, all praise, eternal Son, to thee, all honor as is ever meet, to God, the Holy Paraclete. Come to us, Holy Spirit. Come to us, Holy Spirit, come, one with the Father and the Son. Vouchsafe to dwell within our souls, and quickly make our hearts thine own. Let voice and mind and heart and strength confess and glorify thy name, and let the fire of charity burn bright and other hearts in flame. O God, who canst not. O God, who canst not change nor fail, guiding the hours as they roll by, brightening with beam the morning pale, and burning in the midday sky. Quench thou the fires of hate and strife, the wasting fever of the heart. From perils guard our feeble life, and to our souls thy peace impart. Grant this, O Father, only Son, and Holy Spirit, God of grace, to whom all glory, three in one, be given in every time and place. Amen. Prayer Before a Crucifix Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before thy face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul I pray and beseech thee to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, true contrition for my sins, and a firm purpose of amendment. While with deep affection and grief of soul, I ponder within myself and mentally contemplate thy five most precious wounds. Having before my eyes the words which David the prophet put on thy lips concerning thee, O good Jesus, they have pierced my hands and my feet. They have numbered all my bones. Prayer to St. Michael St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Have a blessed day, everyone. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please join me in praying today's rosary by clicking the link in the top left corner. And remember to like, subscribe, and share this video. And click the notification bell so you never miss a prayer with us. God bless.